Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Ankur. In this episode, we are going to complete the delete part of the CRUD operation. We have already done the create, read and the update part, but we are still remaining the delete part. So let's just dive into that part. So for that, I will go to my to do controller and you can see there is function empty function that means destroy function and we will use this function to delete or destroy an item so okay for that we need a delete button here okay so for that we have to make a delete button here okay but let's just first quickly see the route required for that delete or destroy system so here is the delete and the delete url is same as the update url and of the show url but the requests are different here you have to make a delete request or delete method okay so with the delete method if you go to this url this will go to the destroy function of to do controller and you can delete the things okay for that obviously there is a method that means you have to make a form for that so let's just quickly make that form for that i have to go to my home page and here after this edit i will say a form form action will be will be to do and after that there is the item id okay so let's just see is there if there any error click refresh yep there is an unexpected okay so where is the error this is the error okay now click refresh again item oops it is to do now hit enter yes no error that means we are on the correct path so here i will just say input type is submit and value is delete okay let's see yes but i don't want to show the delete button like this for that i will find the delete font of some icon so i will say far delete there is a trash okay so copy this and paste it here so instead of input let's create a button button type is submit submit and inside the button i will just say this icon so click refresh and yep this is here but i don't want this border so i will say styling so style border is none click refresh okay that's good and one thing more styling for the form class form group and pull right so that it will be on the right side and for the button there has to be class class name is form control let's say and yes and class and so that it will pull right okay click yes this is working fine so when i click here it will go to edit part because we does not provide the method so for that we know how to give a method go to edit dot blade copy this and go to home this and obviously we know that the method is delete and this is the method for the route but for form method we want post also this has to be post anywhere doesn't matter what the what the method field you are typing for the level okay so let's just refresh and let's see if we have anything okay there is verify crsf token we know that what is crsf token for that we will go to create copy this crsf token okay and paste this now refresh click delete and it will go to destroy because we does not get any error okay so the last thing you have to do you have to just check 
if it is working fine or not click delete return one that means we are on the correct function so here what i will do i will just firstly find the item by to do model and find with the id and here i will just say delete and after that return redirect redirect to where redirect to home page okay and before that i will just create a session and this is a session here you can say delete successful okay let's just check Re back refresh let's delete and delete it successfully you can see that we have deleted successfully let's just create one this is new title for delete and body is something something submit and again delete and yep delete successfully okay so we have completed the crud part of our laurel series so we will meet in the next episode till then please feel free to comment if you have any problem in this episode or in anywhere of my series or even if you have any doubt in your project you can ask me i will surely help you you can follow me on facebook twitter instagram and please share this video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of laravel we will meet in the next episode with something cool steps of the laravel and till then bye